Hey guys, this is Quadnation929. I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be doing the handlebar pole mount. Um, I'm doing an unboxing video real quick and then also installation onto the quad. And later on we'll do a review of the product. So originally I went to Walmart to get the hardware for this so I could have my GoPro facing the back view of the quad. And I was going to buy the adapters to make that all work out. However, when I went to Walmart, I ended up coming across the handlebar pole mount. So I started thinking about it more and I'm like, why am I gonna attach something to my fenders that's now possibly going to fall off or you know just be tacky when I don't have the camera on the quad. So I decided why not go with this much cleaner look. It can attach to the grab bar of the quad and I can take it on and off whenever I want. So it's a little bit more expensive than some hardware. It was $29.99 from Walmart. And this is pretty much all there is to it. Pull the screw out. Open it up. You're going to take your GoPro. In this case, I got the Hero 7 Silver. All right. I'm going to take this, pull the rubber flap up, slide this in, push the rubber back down, slide the GoPro on, screw this in. You can adjust the camera once it's on the quad. When you put it on, close it like that. Once it's closed, slide this down, start turning it back in. Put it on good and tight. At this point, I can adjust my camera. At this point, forward, up, down, back, whatever. Turn it in. And that is the rear facing mount for the Yamaha Raptor 700R. It can um, obviously go on probably any quad that has a grab bar, depending on the diameter of the grab bar. Um, in this case, it is standard grab bar for this quad. So I will let you guys know how it works out for me. And uh, if it works out great, then I'll definitely um, recommend this product for your bike. Hey guys, we're back with the quick review. We went riding me and my brother, and after reviewing the videos, I determined that this handlebar mount is definitely not an option for me. It has major flaws. Depends on what your objective is and what you're going to put it on. In my opinion, if you're gonna put it on a motorized bike, you don't want it, and I'll tell you why. Here's a preview of the video. The sound you're hearing is that tab right there. Okay, that tab, when the bike is on, the vibration that comes from the motor and travels through the chassis causes this tab to go up and down at a million miles an hour. This tab is for swiveling the camera. Push the tab down, you can turn the camera, it locks it in. Now it's locked in. You pull the tab down again, you turn it, it locks it again. Any which way you want to turn it, it locks. Well, because that tab there moves, that vibration pulls it up and down thousands of times per second. So what you get is this.
that vibration you're hearing in the video is that tab right there. So if you're looking at handlebar or grab bar mount for your GoPro, do not buy this one. It is the GoPro brand. It's $29.99. I would highly recommend you guys getting a different type. I bought another one that doesn't have that swivel on there and I'll be making another review of that one to see if that was indeed what was causing the vibration. I'm almost positive it is because that's the only thing that is free moving on the mount. Everything else is super tight so it has to be that tab. So with that being said hopefully I'm able to help some out if you are hearing that vibration having figured out what's making the noise and or hopefully I was able to help you uh, before you bought this and then have to go and return it to the store. Thanks for watching. Please like these videos if you enjoy the content and subscribe.